Good morning everyone, this is Alex, your friendly neighborhood photographer and today I am on my way to uh, Kesruk, a mountain in Switzerland which uh, has quite a cheesy name, uh, pun intended for those who understand Swiss German and for all the others I have put a comment into the video below. In the morning the weather was quite foggy and we still have some fog fields nevertheless um, the weather forecast actually said that it's going to be a very very nice day so I am looking forward to that because I'm taking this opportunity to take some nice drone shots to introduce the location. I've been driving that direction already a couple of times, especially when we went from Basel uh, towards uh, Austria and Liechtenstein, and it always looked amazing. You see there is a little lake um, at the bottom of the mountains, and then uh, you, have a, you should have a great view towards the high Alps in the south, uh, southern regions of Switzerland. But I don't know, we're gonna see that later. For the time being, I still have um, a one hour drive ahead of me, so I'm gonna speed it up for you and meet you there. Boom! Here I am, top of Mount Kesrug. It is 2260 meters above sea level. And as you can see, I have amazing weather. It looks gorgeous here. I'm very, very happy that I came. And um, actually, I want to head up the other side of the mountain. If I turn around, well, this is where you should see it behind me. That is my destination, which is going to be 2,300 something meters above sea level. So I'm going to start my hike. It's not a long way. Nevertheless, I think I'm, I have too much clothes on. I have my winter jacket on and it seems to be a little bit too warm because in the morning when I checked the weather, it said minus six degrees, which was freezing cold. Nevertheless, now the weather is amazing. Not a single cloud on the sky. So let's start the hike and uh, I'll meet you upstairs. As it turns out, this top is just a little bit south of uh, one of the mountains I've already been uh, onto with my wife, which is called Zentis. I don't know how much you can actually see, but in the middle of that mountain ridge, far, far away on the other side, there is a little building with a little tower on it. So that's the uh, Zentis, which um, I actually did some uh, drone footage as well. And that location, although it seems it was forbidden because then the security people came and actually told me not to fly around. Nevertheless, um, there was nothing on the map. You know, there is a Swiss drone map which we can actually utilize to see if there is, you know, if there are no fly zones and stuff. But there was nothing on that map. So I was, you know, flying around. I even asked the stuff there and the people told me that it's okay to fly around. But then the security guys came and shut me down. Nevertheless, I also checked it here. There are no restrictions, luckily. So I'm actually going to go down the road a little bit and see where I can find a, little, uh, find a little spot to take out the drone and fly around. Because I need to be careful since there are some uh, paragliders here just behind me. So I need to fly exactly into the opposite direction, which is going to be there. You see that ridge? This is exactly where I'm going to go. There is the uh, mountain station. So I'm probably finding my way back there and then go down just that ridge. And then I actually want to fly this rift here. Man, it's amazing. Look at that, there is even snow. And it's pretty deep, so I actually need to watch my step because, yeah, I don't want to fall down there. It would be a shame, huh? <laughs> so, gotta, gotta take care a little bit. So, I'm gonna go back to that ridge now and see if I can find a nice spot to fly, and I'll meet you there. So I decided to go a couple of uh, meters forward uh, instead of finding the drone flight spot because I thought there might be an amazing view and I was actually right. I went down here and I was awarded with this most amazing view in the background. You can already see a little bit of it with a little lake and there are some ridges as well. So let me turn the camera around and show you what I am seeing right now. So amazing. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Those ridges and the lake down in the valley. Oh, these amazing colors. I'm, I'm absolutely amazed how great this looks. And then if you look further away, you see the high Alps with all the snowy peaks, all those, uh, you know, those, those peaks are about 4,000 meters. It would be actually nice to go there sometime. Nevertheless, 
I'm gonna take in the view for a couple of more minutes, maybe take some lunch, and then I will head to the drone flight place, which I have uh, mentioned earlier in the video. So see you there. Uh, as you can see, I'm heading down now. Um, I had the chance to fly a little bit, although not at the original spot I wanted to. Unfortunately, there is a, a big fence here, which I'm not sure uh, if I can get around that. So I started my descent, which will be uh, more or less a two and a half hour hike. And then I'm gonna head home to my wife and little daughter who are already waiting for me. Nevertheless, it was an amazing day. I'm glad you have been with me. I hope you like the footage which I have put together for you in this video. And um, you know, if you're here, come visit. You know, maybe you can even tell me and then we can do a hike together. <laughs> Otherwise, I love I love this time of the year, actually. It's, it's fresh, it's a little bit cold. Nevertheless, it, the sun is shining, so that's still warm. And you have these amazing autumn colors. Let me show you quickly. Look at that on the far end there. You can see the, uh, the foot of the mountain. You know, the, the, the forest already has two colors, right? You have the evergreens and you have the uh, autumn colors on the other trees and it starts it starts being reddish and yellowish and, and, and all these colors and it's just so gorgeous. I love being out and it's, uh, you know what? I can, just, I can just tell you that it's been amazing and it would be great if you come around and also have a look for yourself. <laughs> so I'm gonna head home now. I don't know if I'm gonna have another chance to fly I also need to hurry up because the sun is going down slowly but surely, so I uh, need to be down before dark. So, yeah, maybe we see each other, maybe we don't see each other. Anyhow, I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching the video and see you next time. Look at that, isn't that great? I actually had another opportunity to fly the drone and I actually uh, also managed to fly it into that rift I wanted to fly into. I don't know how it will turn out, but you will see in the video, huh? So besides that, I'm heading downwards. Still should be another two hours or so until I arrive at the end and can drive finally home. Um, but in the meantime, look at that. How amazing is this view? I'm so amazed. I'm, I mean, wow, I'm actually speechless. I don't even find the right words for it. But that is one of the parts I love about Switzerland, right? You can go almost anywhere and you have these most amazing landscapes. Gorgeous, gorgeous landscapes with these amazing mountains. And also, well, the valleys, the forests, the lakes. Oh man, there are so many lakes. There is no chance you can visit them all, especially the ones high up in the mountains. Those are extremely cool. Yeah, besides that, I think this is the last time I checked in gonna be on my way home so enjoy the video hope you liked it please uh, well if you liked it please do uh, give me a like share follow spread the word would be amazing to see you around for the next one even though it might be a long time again because I don't really have time for um, running the blog or vlog now nevertheless I hope you enjoyed it keep cool enjoy life you know sharing is caring and uh, see you around in the next time in the next video have fun bye bye